In this video, we are going to continue looking at while loops, pretty much following on from where we left off in our previous video tutorial. Uh, we're not going to learn anything new today. We're simply going to recap on what we learned in the previous video and try and get a better understanding of how these while loops actually work. Okay, well, they do look pretty simple. They can take a little bit to get your head around. So hopefully after today's video, you'll have a better understanding of how while loops can be used in your Python code. So our app today is a simple guessing game. What we're going to get the user to do is try and guess what my favorite video game is. Okay, um, while they haven't guessed the game correctly, we're going to keep asking the question. Um, to take a guess at what my favorite video game is. Once they guess it correctly, then our app will end. Okay, so our code is going to loop over and over again until they make the guess correctly. All right, so let's get started by telling the computer what my favorite game is. I'm going to have to set that into a variable. So I'm going to come up with a name for this variable. I might call it game, since it's going to be my favorite game. And I'm going to say game is equal to, and in quotation marks, I'm just simply going to put my favorite computer game. I'll write Minecraft. It's not my favorite, but it will do for now. Once we have set that parameter and told the computer what my favorite game is, we can then ask the user to take a guess. So we'll put in an input keyword like usual with brackets and quotation marks and say, guess what my favorite video game is put a colon a space quotation marks bracket to finish that line off um, now you'll also notice that we need to put whatever the user types in here into a variable so the computer remembers what they've written so when they say guess what my favorite video game is they type in their response and press enter we want to store it into a variable so we can reuse that data later on so back at the start of that line where it says input, just come up with a new variable name such as guess and write equals. So guess is equal to whatever they think your favorite video game is. All right, so we're up to the while loop now. What we want to happen here is while the user has not guessed correctly, then we're going to keep asking them to guess at what my favorite game is. So let's write it out and then I'll break it down and explain it for you. So it says while guess is not equal to game, and we put a colon, and then we write guess equals input, and we tell them that they are incorrect, that they should try again. Um, and we'll ask the question just like we did before, so I might copy and paste that. Done. All right, um, there's just one line of code in here I might put in and then I'll explain what's going on. So the last line of code is just a print statement that tells them that they actually guessed it correctly. So congratulations, you guessed my favorite video game. All right, so let's explain these three lines here. So while the guess Okay, so this variable up here is holding the information that the user typed in before of what they think my favorite video game is. So while that value, so while the guess that the user's made is not equal to that symbol there with the exclamation mark and the equal sign, that stands for not equal to. So while their guess is not equal to game, which is my favorite game, then we write on the screen, Incorrect, try again, and we'll tell them to guess what my favorite video game is again. Now you'll notice that this code is indented. And the reason that this line of code is indented is because it's only going to be run while we're inside this loop. Okay, as soon as we get the guess correct, then we stop running that code, we jump out of it and come down to here. But while the guess is incorrect and they haven't guessed my favorite game, then we just keep running this line of code that has been indented. Okay, and this line that has been indented, it's just asking the user another question, okay, to just guess the video game or my favorite video game all over again. The answer they type in this time around will be just stored back in that guess variable, 
Okay, the same as the one up here. It just overwrites what was already there. So if somebody answered Call of Duty was my favorite video game, okay, we would say that it's incorrect and they will guess again. Second time around, they might say Mario Kart. It will replace Call of Duty and put Mario Kart in that guess instead. And it will come back and check to see if it actually guessed what my favorite game was. All right, eventually, once they get it right, they type in Minecraft, then we jump out of this loop, so we stop running that line of code, and we come down to this next line of code, and just tell them, congratulations, and they guess the favorite video game, and it's end of the app. So let's save it and test it, make sure it's working. So this one we will call um, while loops 2, and let's run it, and we'll see what happens. So it says, guess what my favorite video game is? I'm going to say COD, press enter, it says incorrect, try again. Guess what my favorite video game is? I'll try Minecraft, bang. Congratulations, you guessed correct, oh, so you guessed my favorite video game. Okay, so that's looking good. One thing I might change, where it says incorrect, try again, I wouldn't mind pushing this bit here down to a new line. So in the past, you might remember making new lines by typing in the word print bracket bracket and that works fine but I want to show you another way so after the word try again here with the exclamation mark what we might do is just write backslash n space backslash n that makes two new empty lines for us in our code oh, sorry in our app so one of these will make an empty line this one will make a second empty line basically just push the mouse cursor down to the next line Let's save it and run it, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I get it wrong by writing COD again, it will still say incorrect, try again, but then it pushes down a couple of lines. Okay, so it takes me down to the new one, and it takes me down to the new line again, and we get them to guess what my favorite video game is down on a new line. Okay, so I'll try Minecraft, and there we go. Congratulations. You guessed my favorite video game. All right, so that's all that you need to know, I think, for this video. If you'd like to add some comments into the code just to help explain what's going on, I think that would be very handy and will get you some extra marks.